Do you remember the irreverent comedy that swept across television screens in 1967, leaving an indelible mark on pop culture? Rowan and Martin's laugh and did just that, challenging the norms of traditional humor and offering a fresh, rapid-fire format that kept audiences in stitches. But have you ever wondered about the lesser-known facts and anecdotes behind this iconic TV series? This groundbreaking show was a pioneer in its time, combining satire, political commentary, and an array of quirky characters in a half-hour whirlwind of laughter. Created by Dan Rowan and Dick Martin, Laugh-In featured a dynamic ensemble cast, including Goldie Hawn, Art Johnson, and Ruth Boozy, who delivered unforgettable catchphrases and slapstick comedy. Now, as we revisit this classic series, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. Did it inspire your sense of humor or perhaps influence your perspective on the world? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, what fascinating tidbits or unforgettable moments do you have to share about this iconic show? Let's take a stroll down memory lane together. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, a groundbreaking television series that premiered in 1967, was a revolutionary comedy show that left an indelible mark on popular culture. Created by Dan Rowan and Dick Martin, the show was a fast-paced, irreverent mix of sketch comedy, stand-up routines, and social and political satire. It featured a host of iconic characters and catchphrases, including the ever-popular Socket to Me. And here come Da Judge. The series had a unique, avant-garde style with its signature rapid-fire delivery, quick cuts, and a vibrant, psychedelic set. Its zany humor and willingness to tackle contemporary issues, often in a subversive and risk manner, struck a chord with the counterculture of the 1960s. Laugh and became a cultural touchstone, reflecting the tumultuous and rebellious spirit of the era. Its impact on popular culture extended beyond the small screen, influencing fashion, language, and the comedy landscape. It also provided a platform for many rising talents, including Goldie Hawn and Lily Tomlin, who would go on to have successful careers in entertainment. The show's legacy endures as a symbol of the swinging 60s and the social upheaval of the time. Rowan and Martin's laugh and remains an iconic and timeless representation of the era's irreverent and unconventional spirit, making it a television classic. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, the popular TV series from 1967, was known for its fast-paced editing. The show's trademark was its rapid, almost frenzied pace, achieved by manually editing blackouts, one-liners, and sketches together in between videotaped segments. This was done before the invention of computer-controlled editing machines, making it a unique feature of the show. One of the catchphrases that became famous on the show was Socket to Me. This one-liner ranked number 10 in TV Guide's list of TV's 20 top catchphrases. It became a memorable part of the show's humor. Additionally, Here Come the Judge was another catchphrase that gained popularity when Sammy Davis Jr. paid tribute to Dewey Pigmeat Markham, a Chitlin Circuit comedian. This catchphrase was so well-received that Markham was invited to be a guest star on the show. His routines were edited into a novelty record, and even Baskin Robbins introduced an ice cream flavor called Here Come the Fudge to capitalize on the fad. Pontiac even named a model of their GTO the judge in 1968, and used the same catchphrase in the car's advertisements. In conclusion, Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In was a groundbreaking show in 1967 with its unique editing style. Catchphrases like Socket to Me, and Here Come the Judge, and its influence on popular culture. In 2017, Time Life marked the 50th anniversary of the 1967 TV series Rowan and Martin's Laugh and by releasing a comprehensive box set. This collection included all six seasons of the show along with bonus materials. Notably, the episodes in this DVD set were presented without the advertising plates that were originally inserted in the videos. This change meant that when the announcer, Gary Owens, introduced sponsors, the camera remained fixed on him for the required time, adding to the show's wacky and eccentric charm. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In was known for its groundbreaking and irreverent style. It featured a rapid-fire series of sketches, one-liners, and musical performances. The show introduced catchphrases like Socket to Me and featured a cast of regulars and guest stars. It was a cultural phenomenon of its time, pushing boundaries and redefining TV comedy. 
As for the claim that the show went off the air because they had run out of things to parody, this speaks to the unique and ever-changing nature of Laugh-In. The series was known for its satirical take on the politics and popular culture of the late 1960s, and it evolved with the times. It remains a significant part of television history and a testament to the innovative spirit of its creators and cast. In summary, the 2017 Time Life box set commemorated the 50th anniversary of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, and its release without advertising plates offered a unique viewing experience. The show's impact on comedy and culture endures, making it a classic in the history of television. In 1967, the TV series Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In took the television world by storm. One noteworthy aspect of the show was the cocktail party segment, where Playboy centerfold models, including Janice Pennington, made uncredited appearances. They usually appeared as dancers or the subjects of Dick Martin's clished propositions. Interestingly, Martin married, divorced, and then remarried playmate Dolly Reed. This added a unique and somewhat controversial element to the show. The show's hosts, Dan Rowan and Dick Martin, also underwent some noticeable changes in their appearance during the series. Dan Rowan started out clean-shaven during the initial airings in early 1968. However, by the first full season, he had grown a mustache. Over the years, he sported a beard for a while but eventually went back to just having a mustache, a look he maintained until the end of the series. In a surprising turn of events, both front-running candidates in the 1968 presidential election were invited to make cameo appearances on the show just before the general election. Former Vice President Richard Nixon accepted the invitation, while sitting Vice President Hubert H. Humphrey declined. Many credit Nixon's appearance on the show with helping him win the election, and his single line, Sock it to me, became iconic and somewhat prophetic as Congress later took actions that mirrored that sentiment. These interesting tidbits provide a glimpse into the unique and often humorous world of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, a show that left a lasting impact on television history. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, the iconic TV series from 1967, was the brainchild of producer George Schlatter. He aimed to create a contemporary variety show with skits, slapstick, blackouts, political humor, and musical bits. Inspired by the hippie movement's love-ins and be-ins, one of the show's writers coined the name Laugh-In. The show quickly gained popularity for its irreverent and groundbreaking style. The show featured quick and quirky comedy sketches, with hosts Dan Rowan and Dick Martin guiding viewers through the chaos. It was known for its rapid-fire humor and the catchphrase socket to me. The show had a cast of zany characters, including Lily Tomlin's famous character, Ernestine the Telephone Operator. A notable aspect of Laugh In is how it influenced other TV programs. For instance, Hee Haw was directly inspired by Laugh In, aiming to reach a more conservative audience with a country theme. While the show initially started with unknown writers, including Lorne Michaels and Hart Pomerantz, it didn't take long for it to become a sensation. Laugh In marked a significant milestone in the history of television comedy, paving the way for a new era of irreverent and satirical humor on the small screen. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the whimsical world of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, it's time to pause and reflect on the impact this iconic 1967 TV series has had on our lives. Whether you were a die-hard fan who never missed an episode or stumbled upon its colorful chaos in recent years, Laugh-In remains a timeless treasure that transcends generations. The quick-witted humor, the unforgettable catchphrases, and the bold social commentary, these are the elements that wove their way into the fabric of American television history. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In was more than just a show. It was a cultural touchstone that dared to push boundaries and challenge the status quo. Now, I invite you to take a moment and delve into the recesses of your memories. Think about those uproarious evenings spent watching the show with family and friends, the laughter that echoed in your living room, and the jokes that became a part of your everyday banter. Reflect on the times when you marveled at its irreverent humor and marveled at its political satire. How did laugh and shape your sense of humor and perhaps even your outlook on the world? Share your favorite memories and thoughts about Rowan and Martin's laugh in with us, and let's celebrate this timeless classic together. Let the nostalgia flow and the anecdotes abound, for it's in these shared recollections that we keep the spirit of this remarkable show alive. 
Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. Let's keep the laughter alive, just as it was intended, and remember the colorful, chaotic brilliance of Rowan and Martin's laugh-in. Until next time, keep the humor alive, and keep the memories vivid. This is your unique and compelling outro.